Hello friends and family, welcome back to another top 10 tips and tricks in Fallout 76. Let's get right into it. So my first tip that I have for you guys is going to be that being AFK, you can stop the game from logging you out by going into photo mode. So if you, for whatever reason, you want to be AFK, you literally just have to uh, press escape on computer and then T and you're in photo mode and this will not log you out you will be fine for however long that you want to play the game uh, not sure why also I guess you can also have like an auto clicker or something or make your character just spin if you can find a way to do that that's another thing but this is probably the better way I think in my opinion. My next tip is to always sleep whenever you log in to Fallout 76. When you fall asleep on your bed, you will get two hours of bonus XP, which it's 5% bonus, which is pretty good. It's okay, but when stacked with other things, it becomes amazing. My third tip is to not ever sleep on the ground. You can get too many diseases, and usually you need something like a disease cure or like a symptomatic but if you don't have any of these then 15 minutes of your gameplay usually will be uh, affected so that's not not good at all my fourth tip for the day is now going to be to play any instrument so for example i have the ukulele or I also have the piano, the upright piano. By playing these, you'll get AP regen for one hour. That is really handy, especially at, at lower levels. When you come out of Vault 76, if you find an instrument, just straight away, straight away play an up, uh, instrument and also sleep. That's two most important things when you when you start a playthrough, in my opinion. My fifth tip. Now, I did not know this. I don't know why. I, I used to play Fallout 4, and I figured this out in Fallout 4, and I assumed it would work in Fallout 76. And, and guess what it did? I have myself a power generator, the fusion generator, right? I had no idea if I placed these bad boys here, uh... I forget what they're called. Let me go have a look. Forget the button. Power connectors. Okay, so it's just literally the power conduit. Place a power conduit anywhere, like on your house, and in that vicinity, it'll give you power. So if I want something to be powered on this side, for example, this hello sign, I cannot power it unless I have a conduit leading all the way to here like this lamp, not working because I have no conduits in this area. But ha this half of the house, all fine. Everything lights up and everything's 10 out of 10. See, Light this lamp lights up, turn off, can turn on. Everything's good. My sixth tip is to always join a public team. Now, you just join a public team by pressing control tab and you, you'll find all your public teams here. Now I'm on a private server, so I am not in a team, but you will get bonuses from being in a team. Now, some of the bonuses, the players that you play with will sometimes be sharing perks. So they could be sharing something that's really, really good. Like let's just say for whatever reason, you need more carry weight. They could have traveling pharmacy as one of their sharing perks or band of boiler something like that make your gameplay a lot easier and if you are on a team you may as well just put inspiration on i always keep a charisma of four on all my characters at least so that i can have inspirational and then when i want to swap i can get hard bargain lone wanderer is for when you play alone but i really recommend playing in a team especially when you're starting to speed you up to level 50, I believe it is, to get all, all your perks, perk points. It's quick.
quick as possible. The seventh tip that I have for you guys is getting killed actually is not that bad. When you die, you literally only lose your junk items which are on you. You don't lose money, you don't lose experience, you don't lose anything except the junk that is on you. You don't lose ammunition. If you're struggling to beat a boss, unless it's a timed boss, just in my opinion just keep going back and don't get scared of fighting things that are maybe a sorry my recording uh went out for whatever reason not a hundred percent sure why but our eighth tip is that we will be getting great buffs by eating and drinking having them filled up will give us amazing amazing buffs so i'll show you guys what they are go to effects now, being fully fed, strength plus one, max HP, 45, and disease resistance, 45. Being well hydrated, AP, AP regen, 25%, and hold on, that's not even full. I just realized. Let's have one of those. Fully fed, strength plus one, max HP, 45, disease resistance, 45% by being fully fed. Then fully hydrated, endurance plus one, AP regen, 45% disease resistance plus 45%. That means we have 90% disease resistance, meaning we're highly unlikely to get any diseases. And these are just really nice bonuses. Endurance plus one, AP regen. Our AP regen, amazing. Max HP 45. It's all good. All good just by having being fully fed and well hydrated and that's not really that hard to do in fallout 76 our ninth tip is cranberries are the best food in the game maybe not for their food source but for xp gains absolutely bomb you can't get better than cranberries one thing uh, a place that you can go is at a low level is aaron holt homestead you'll find 10 plants here and you will be able to collect 20 if you then equip the perk green thumb which will help you reap twice as much as you usually would without it now after you have your cranberries a great recipe to know is cranberry juice which gives plus 5 xp points for 30 minutes Every 30 minutes, just pop one. I use Cranberry Cobbler. Does the exact same thing. One wood, one cranberry. And, uh, yeah, that's that's what I use. Same, 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 really. Juice and the Cranberry Cobbler. But the best recipe is Cranberry Relish, which gives plus 10 XP points. But you need gourd, and there's another thing you need. I think it's corn. To plant in your little camp area that's that's it I do not have gourd so I don't have cranberry relish plus I do not have the recipe the recipe is very hard to get so I'm a level 244 and I still don't have it on this character I have it on my level 145 character don't know how I think you can find it though off of any player vendor so sometimes they will sell it tip number 10 is a colossal problem is the best event for finding treasury notes you will get up to eight every time you complete this event no also there's no limit to how many treasury notes you can carry you have an unlimited amount you can carry but it is limited at the it's limited to how many you can put in the press press machine which is every 20 hours you can put 20 in and one treasury note is 10 gold bullion so yeah you can I, wait i think actually you know what i'm completely wrong i know i'm completely wrong because i think you can get 400 uh, wait did that stat change i don't even remember but anyway you, you can every i'm gonna go with that every 20 hours uh, you can only put 20 in the press machine, but it'll tell you whenever you go there. It, it, it's my bad. I, I didn't check. <laughs> I didn't check. I'm just going off the top of my head now. Yeah, that is not notable. That colossal problem. Best event for treasury notes, but you can do pretty, pretty much any. All events will give you 
treasury notes. Just some give you three, some give you five, some give you, oh, Colossal Problem gives you eight. And as a bonus tip, I don't know if you guys have seen me do this, but I have been going around the logs and I've been just collecting them literally as I'm talking. See, I collected eight wood scraps. I believe you can collect from two to eight wood each time you click on a fallen tree fallen log and I do that because it just builds up the wood that you have you don't have to do it it's not like essential but as a beginner player I highly recommend doing this as you will collect wood really easy see I've collected 50 wood just running around and talking to you guys on this video um, yeah so that's tip 11 um, yeah I guess just a small little tip to small little tip to add in thank you everybody for watching uh, this top 10 video I appreciate all the likes comments and subscribes that I've been getting if you feel like it you can like comment and subscribe some more um, that's up to you guys I don't force you to do I'm not f forcing anyone to do that your view is enough for me um, I just try and get the info out I guess and yeah, I like to share information, and yeah. Thank you all for being here, though, and I will have to catch you guys in the next one, but if you... See, I've been playing Hogwarts Legacy, by the way, guys. If you want to see me play any other games, any tutorials, any tips and tricks videos for any other games, let me know, because I'm not sure what I'd like this YouTube channel to be. I'd like to have... A bunch of tips and tricks for just a bunch of different games because I know that people play lots of different games no one plays just Fallout 76 all the time you know people tend to go play other games as well at times <laughs> even if you want to see tips and tricks for any other Fallout game I have all of them I'm pretty sure I'm not sure if I have New Vegas I actually know I do uh, yeah, anything you want to see, just let me know in the comments. Or you can even DM me. I have my email in my descriptions. Actually, in my bio on my channel. So, yeah, thank you everyone. And yeah, catch you guys on the next one. Ciao.